Hello, this is the trade site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday the 5th, Friday the 6th, November 2020. Hope you had a good trading day. Actually, the big gap up and then a higher, obviously, as a reaction to the election and how it's going so far. We didn't really do a ton here. Uh, the ranges on the futures early were too wide to do any uh, opening range plays and stuff like that. So this will be the final preview for the week as we don't typically do market previews for Friday. But let's go through and take a look at where we're at. So the ES uh, front month futures contract, that's this right here. That's the S&P in futures form. You know, it's a base forming. Um, you know, we're sitting on top of that uh, 3,400 level from back at the beginning of February. You know, market's still nowhere for the year for the most part, net net. Uh, having said that, I'm sure people are relieved about that compared to what it could have been given the COVID situation. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, obviously we, we don't know what to expect, what's left here. Obviously it looks like Biden's going to win the election. The markets have known that, uh, that's probably always been the case and, uh, the markets are reacting well. Uh, doesn't mean that this will hold forever because we have some reality to come back to at some point in time about the uh, current situation of the country and the finances, but in terms of what it means short term, I think it's positive, and the market seems to know that. Right now, we've got uh, Biden about 92% in the betting markets, uh, chance to wrap it up, uh, and probably will happen tomorrow. They're hearing that Pennsylvania might be called tomorrow, and that would pretty much end it. Crude oil down 48 cents to 38. Uh, 67 gold up $11.90. It's an interesting chart. It hasn't done much uh, for a while here on gold. S&P cash. So the S&P up seven. Remember, big gap up 74.42 total. The NASDAQ, I mean, what was the last time you saw this? NASDAQ up 497 points. But again, like over half of that is the gap up. So it's not like it was this big tradable event, unfortunately. Uh, it is what it is. Sometimes around elections, you just got to let it do what it does. Uh, the Sox up 81 points. Uh, biotech's up 258. We've got the Russell 2000 up just under a point. I mean, really nothing there. The VIX loses $5.98 back to 29.57. Never quite got to that 13 sell signal, but it sure looks like it did, right? As it rolls over right off of that. Uh, the trend at 1.44 puts the 10 day moving average at 0.97. NASDAQ volume was only 3.6 billion. It's up from the last few days, but it's nothing super exciting. Uh, on the NASDAQ, uh, advanced client ratio was plus 248, so kind of flat. I mean, uh, 216, so no, 248. And on the New York, plus 275. That's interesting when you see how much the market was up, that so, that the, so many stocks were really just not anything. Uh, Google was up 100, and again, the gap for the stocks that were up was a big significant part of it. Google up 100.19, sweeps to new highs. Apple up 4.51, uh, nowhere near highs on Apple. Netflix up $9.73, nowhere near Highs there either. Amazon up 192.75, not near highs. Tesla down $2.92. Facebook up 22.08, big gain there on Facebook. So it's really Google uh, breaking out to new highs. It's the most benefit so far. Uh, Goldman Sachs literally down six cents, doesn't even matter. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF up $3.42. And the bonds have been pretty stable since back in March when the rates went to where they went. Uh, in terms of intraday action, so you can see the last two days. So Tuesday, we had the gap up, pushed higher, dead flat the rest of the way, the rest of the day. And then Wednesday, the gap up, a uh, little head fake to the downside, and then pushed higher. And then basically after the first hour, that's where we closed at the end of the day. So most of the action has been the first hour. Again, uh, you know, could be some holdouts on the market trying to figure out what's going on with uh, the election for sure. But we can see uh, the writing on the wall and, the, and what the betting markets have, have always said and are saying about that in terms of economic data left this week on thursday 7 30 a.m eastern time challenger job cuts at 8 30 we've got the initial and continuing jobless claims numbers along with the preliminary union labor costs 10 30 natty gas remember we've been and started a two-day fed meeting in the middle of all this they waited until you know they usually start the two-day meeting on tuesday and announce on wednesday because of the election they start the meeting on wednesday they're going to announce tomorrow so at 2 p.m so we're probably going to be stuck until that anyways uh, makes for a buzzkill for the end of the week there. And then the press conference at 2.30. And then on Friday, the unemployment rate for uh, October, along with the non-farm payrolls and final wholesale inventories, consumer credit in the afternoon, and we're off to uh, the weekend after that. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Thursday and Friday.